five, four, three, two, one, go. You're only supposed to blow the bloody doors off. Hey guys, wobble 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 back again in full SF effect. Gonna do something to show you. Keys. BMW. I've got my new toy. So, I'm happy. Got rid of the uh, the neon that went up to the great breakers yard in the sky and I uh, got 200 bucks for it, which is a lot more than I thought I'd get. However, I c claimed off the insurance because I got sideswiped on the 401. So I got a bit of money for that, so I'm, I'm not crying too much. So that all went into the pot for my car. So I have got a 2012 128 BMW 128 series with the M Sport options in vermilion red over taupe. So red over white with white interior. So uh, that's my new toy and the garage, as if you've been looking at my garage project, is what it's for. So picked the car up the other day, had a little drive around it, it's good. I've got to do a lot of bits and pieces. Well, I don't have to do a lot of bits and pieces, it's only got something like 22k on the clock. But tinkering and stuff, you know what it's like. I'm going to do a few bits and pieces over the course of time, so I'm going to be letting you guys know how I do. And uh, if you like what you see, subscribe and like, please, that would be cool. So, um, the question I was going to ask you guys is, what was the very first thing that you did to your BMW when you got it home? You know, what job did you do? Well, do you know something? As I was looking through the service book, I found this. Can you see this? K and N. Someone, this is, it says in here, keep this card in your vehicle at all times. Because if you know what a K and N filter is, it's a, not a disposable filter. You oil it, put it in, and take it out. Now, I used to use a K and N filter way back in the day. But then I learned to know better. Now there's a lot of conversations on the net about uh, K&N filters, but uh, I am off the camp that they don't do your engine any good. So as far as possible, use the OEM part and, and or a good aftermarket part. So this is the first trip I'm gonna do. I am gonna replace the air filter with a proper OEM part. Now. So this says it has a K&N filter. I don't actually know if it has a K&N filter in there. The reason being is that I've had, you have to take the filter out and check it. I didn't have a lot of time to do this. So what I thought I'd do is I'd just go and buy a filter from a BMWs and replace it. Now, replacing certain items, certain like oil filters, air filters, if you can, just do it. It's just not worth the extra hassle. The air going into your engine is the most important. If it's dirty, if the filter is clogged up, you lose uh, mileage. And if it's like a K&N filter, you've got a whole load of crap going in there. So, you know, let's just do it. So, um, that's the project for today, guys. So, stay tuned. A few things you're gonna need. You're gonna need uh, some panel removal tools, like that. You're gonna need some torque screws. You're going to need your, let's see if I can take this out a bit, that's too far. You're going to need, that's the part number for the BMW filter. And also what I'm going to do, I'm going to bang some injector cleaner in there. So, there we go. This is the, and um, this is the assembly that we're going to do. So what we need to do is we need to pull this clip out from here, get those two bolts out, actually we will need. Then let's get this in here. We're going to need to remove that clip from there and then we should be able to, oh and then there's another clip in there, pull that back and this should just lift off. We've got some torque bolts there and that should be job job. So as I've never done this before, this could be fun. So uh, don't go away. Oh, and another thing you can do is get some cloth to put on the side. Uh, when you're working on it, you make things a little bit easier. And this comes off quite easily. If you have this tool, just a pry bar, just a pry out. Go. That. 
has come off nicely. Okay. Okay. Pull these bolts off. And they're a uh, 10 mil. Just because it's a BMW and because it's a new car, um, try not to worry about uh, doing some jobs. With my first Porsche, I did. Uh, did work on it and as long as you do the research and you're fairly handy you should be good so we've got the bolts off sorry I couldn't uh, do it because I can't do this with one hand this cell thing goes into there so you have to use a little clip just to lift this up and that comes out just move it to a side now next we have to get a screwdriver in there and loosen that off. Again, sorry guys, I couldn't actually show you me doing that. But if you look down here, this is, I've pried this off. Can you see? That's been pried off. So you loosen this, loosen the screw, and this comes off. Now, in theory, we should just be able to pull it off. Yeah, you see? Okay, done. And while we're in here, can we get in there? While we're in there, just have a visual check around, taking the uh, leaves and things that are outside. Just have a check generally to see how everything is. I'm gonna take you in for a little wander. Everything looks pretty good. There's no, uh, I need to get a really strong light actually. Everything's all good. Just as BMW wanted it. Right, so now. So. So what we need to do is remove these two torque screws. Remove these two torque screws. You can see there, the torque screws, and then this should. So it's one, two, three, four, five torque screws, and we should be good. I have no idea what the size, but this is a T25. I had to jerry rig, jerry rig it, and that's fine. Usually I have music playing in the background, but I don't today. So I hope you don't mind driving like a lunatic. The uh, gas consumption is very good. So, two here. So what do you think? Have they put a, a K N filter or not? And then this one here. Uh, I should really have a proper set of torques. I'll, I'll, I'll get them. In the UK, generally, we don't use torques. This should just pull out. Ta da! What is this one here? Okay. And this is the air filter. And uh, who put a stock filter? So, this is the stock filter. So, that may have been a sticker from somewhere else. Let's empty the. Always empty this out. So, let's get the, the new air filter. And, to be honest, we haven't lost anything by changing the filter. Seriously, we haven't. Now, if we compare the two filters... Can you see how dirty that one is and how clean that is? So this is going to make 
a big difference. So I haven't lost anything. One, there was never a K&N air filtering, but we didn't know that. And two, we're changing the filter anyway. It's about 50 bucks from uh, BMs. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put it all back together again. I'm not going to film us doing that because we've already done it. And I'll come back to you in a minute. The one thing I forgot to tell you is the filter will go in only one way. Make sure it's pushed in nicely. So it's all in nicely. Make, so you make sure you've got those two bolts in there, the electrical connector, the outer hose and the manifold. This is a bit of an iffy thing to do. I've found that using a tool like this to wiggle it out, I think like this as well. That'll help you get the electrical connector out. So now what I'm going to do is going to put some uh, fuel injector cleaner in there and start her up. That's pretty much an easy job. So 2012, one to eight with uh, uh, M Sport package, replacing an air filter. I uh, took a bit longer because I've done uh, doing it with you. Uh, it's a 30 minute job easily. And um, the benefits are very good. So uh, there we go, back again. And if you like this, give us a shout down there. Subscribe, 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 and like. So until we meet again next time, peace out. I'm out of here. Thank you, Adrian. Thank you, Adrian. Thank you, Adrian. We have to take a short break now, Mrs. Tompkins, but after that, we're coming straight back after the advertisement break. We have to earn our money, after all, with the smoking sounds of Adrian J's show. For the maestro of mix, stay tuned to Adrian J. Why don't you move, damn it? Damn it.